Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Pony Express Broadcast Network coming to you live, episode uh, number two, NASCAR Racing 2003 Victory Lane. It's June 23rd, 2017. We're about to get with some league owners, admins, and drivers, and we're going to talk about the last seven days and the races that these leagues have held and the drivers who have won these races. I had John here, I had John and his son in law here. And uh, we were getting a boat ready. You know, I had to make sure they had everything for the boat and stuff. You know, because I switched, I switched my, I took myself off the fucking team and I put his son along on the team, Brian. So them two were going. So they came and took my boat. I made sure they had everything on it. You know. Well, can and, they uh, fish without you? Oh yeah, yeah, they can fish without oh, me. I figured yeah. you had to show them how to do all that. Uh -uh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's that's Pete Sandone talking about fishing there. Um, we're we're gonna start with ECT tonight. We're going to head over to uh, your guys' Super Sunday Truck Series Sunday. ECT was at Watkins Glen. H.B. Hardy came out of there with the victory. Uh, it looks like, spoiler, you were you were in that race. What do you want to tell us about that one? That, that was a, a version of, uh, actually it was 2011 Watkins Glen. It was a fun track. It, it was, uh, I, I like it a lot better than the uh, game version because you don't have those sand traps to fall into. But... H.B. Hardy was nice enough to come over there and just give us an ass whipping, and uh, I I, uh, I hope he's happy with himself, and it feels real good that he put a beating on us the way he did. And uh, He did? Just make yeah, sure yeah, he's he, not cheating. Show the he, bastard out. <laughs> but no, he came over, and, and uh, he was the, the guy to, deal, to uh, the man to beat. Uh, I think there was a couple guys that could kind of keep up with him, but for the most part... He's the ma he was the master at Watkins Glen, and, and and hats off to him. He did a hell of a job, and and uh, was a strong car. To, uh, that uh, I guess he's the we could call him the uh, the uh, the guru of uh, road courses. And normally we would uh, you know ECT Kyle is in here, HB Hardy is in here, uh, but we actually have the the post race interview that Kyle conducted. Uh, of H.B. Hardy, so we're going to go ahead and, and run that audio real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, your Sunday night winner on the road course, it is H.B. Hardy. H.B., congratulations on your win. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your race tonight? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, it was Watkins Glen and trucks, and I'm a, I'm a road ringer. I grew up racing road courses. Most people, when they join this game, prefer to go to Daytona or Talladega, tra tracks such as that. But I've uh, always grown up running the road courses and started off was pretty much quicker than most everybody. TJ and Texan got it together there at the end. I was looking forward to a, a good race with them. I personally got caught up in some some middle to late race cautions, got plowed over once, got spun once or twice, but uh, ended up running down into one on uh, Texan's quarter panel on the last lap. And Texan being the guy that he is, gave me enough room, didn't pinch me when he very much could have or should have. And as soon as we got down into one, Bump chicane just right, and that allowed me to jump in the gas and sail into the sunset from there on. Now, a lot of guys are talking about, as you said, being the natural at the road course. You've had some uh, experience in the past with another racer. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Uh, I grew up uh, with my dad, Danny Hardy, teaching me. He and uh, a guy by the name of Volker Hackerman were very good friends, and they included me in and all their setup changes and all this that and the other so i got the good stuff from them and that really propelled me into be able to race the way that i do now volker was a really good road ringer running over in the swedish leagues and that kind of set my love for road courses they preferred to work to the wee hours on ovals and i was working in the wee hours on road course races uh so looking forward to running at BSR and Finney on tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun as well. And anybody you'd like to thank? Just the normal BSR uh, for what they are and what they do. ECT, same. You guys are two of the best leagues out there. Provide great racing, great camaraderie, uh, friendship, but most of all fun. This is the two places to come and race. No drama, no BS like many leagues have out there today. And then, of course, Drunken Cow Jerky and the rest of the sponsors that Keep the lights on to let us do what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, your Sunday night winner at the Glen, it is H.B. Hardy. Congratulations, H.B. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. How long was that call interview? All right, so there was that interview with H.B. Hardy. Uh, congrats to him on the win. We see the standings there. BSR Texan leading that Sunday night series by 64 points over DJ Champ. Moving on to the Monday night Arrow 88 series, it looks like ECT Bama 
came away with the win at the 1970 version of Daytona. Um, what, uh, spoiler, it doesn't look like you were in that race. Uh, well, you know what, I'm, I'm going to hit up Larry Yeager. Larry, you were there. What, uh, how'd the Monday race go? I wasn't there on Monday. Oh, yeah, I was there on Monday. That's right. Yes, I was. <laughs> Welcome to the joint. You may know where the fuck you finished. There. Oh, I don't even know where I finished. They got wrecked, I think. All right. Well, we'll we'll skip right to the uh, the post race interview of ECT Bama. Then thanks to to Kyle. We'll be right back. Yeah, Kyle's got us hooked up. Ladies and gentlemen, your Monday night winner at Arrow Thunder for ECT. It is ECT Bama. Bama, how you doing, Stephen? Pretty good. And you? Doing real good. Now. Folks who haven't seen the replay yet, let's hear about that wild finish you had Monday night. Well, you know, a win is a win. We're, we're going to take it backwards, forwards, upside down on the roof. We'll take it anywhere we can get it. Uh, it was a wild ride, I'm telling you. We come out of turn four, and uh, ECT Rob Neese, the bandit, was on our inside. And I had a run coming out of four, and BSR Chevy Chase fell in behind me, and then NWO Peg fell in behind him, and we had the train running. And uh, 54 kind of came up to get a little side draft or maybe to intimidate me a little bit and kind of touched us and sent us into a spin. And it was kind of a wild ride crossing the finish line. And I remember right, I think we... Uh, got across uh, by .02 with NWO Peg uh, right there in second place. Right on. Sounded like an exciting finish. Uh, anybody you'd like to thank that's uh, helped you out there on the track or maybe even off the track? Well, uh, BSR guys have uh, been a big help running with us, and uh, they're always there to, you know, if you need a push or, or some help uh, getting by somebody, they're always glad to help out. Uh, BSR Chevy Chase, he helped me a lot that night. Uh, uh, he basically kind of pushed us to the win. Like I said, uh, it was a wild ride to the finish, but we're going to take it any way we can get it. We've had a rough season this season on Monday night. We've missed a few races with some technical difficulties. Uh, but all in all, we're, we're here to win. Uh, that's the, the bottom line. And uh, we're going to be out there to get the checkers every race. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner for Monday Night Arrow, it is none other than ECT Bama. Roll Tide, Bama. Roll Tide. Here. All right. In north that, of Harrisburg. There's that post-race interview with ECT Bama. Looking at the standings from the Monday Night Arrow 88 series, Chevy Chase leads that. Uh, Texan and ECT Q tied for second, 12 points back. Tuesday night over at ECT, the Smoke SS Truck Series now, Larry, you won this race, so I hope you remember being there. <laughs> yes. He cheated. L Larry, tell us about the race at Coca-Cola. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I wrecked uh, half the field. Had lots of, no, I did not wreck half the field. But I, uh, I had lots of help from Chevy Chase. I wouldn't have won if it wouldn't have been for him. So basically, the both of you cheated then. Yeah, that's it. You you like that you like that track, uh, Larry? Is that a fun track for you to race on? No, I just have a decent set, and I got the set from John Forgione, and uh, yeah, I just it's the reason I don't like that track. It's a one groove track. Every time every time we run that track, the winner comes from the bottom lane. It's tough yeah. to pass. It, it's awful funny. You you got people that love it or hate it, and and it's it's no in between. It's either you love it or you hate it, and and uh, I agree. It's a one groove track. A lot of those uh, fantasy tracks seem to go. They get they're five thousand miles wide, five thousand miles long, and you can only race in one groove. So yep, yep, yeah. Yep. But, but I some agree. people love it. They they love that kind of racing. So I'm, uh, congratulations on your win. Yeah, congratulations. Yes, thanks, guys. It's my second win at ECT, actually. I think I won another previous Coca-Cola race. But you don't like the track, though. No, I hate that track. <laughs> you don't like well, the track, but you won two races already. We, we should put <laughs> a bunch wrong of, with this picture. Tell us what tracks you don't like, and that way we'll put them up, and you got a good chance of winning. No, it's, no <laughs> I'm telling you, that it's, and the only reason is that I don't like that track. It's a one-group track. You yeah, can't pass from the outside, and yeah, it's just tough. Yeah. 
All right. I let's... just got to say something for two seconds, Mark. Shut Go the ahead. Hell up. Yep. Thank you. Too. Good. Make like a clam. Hi, hi, Tyler. How you doing, pal? You all right? Things okay, bro? And I told you, if you want any pictures of your wife, just call me. I'll send them to you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Uh, my partner there. That's him. Larry licks a lot. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Mark. Go ahead, buddy. All right, looking at the Tuesday Night Smoke SS Truck standings, ECT Poor Boy leading that series 22 points above uh, Pockets. Pockets, you're starting to fade in, in those standings. What's your strategy for the rest of the season? Well, I'm telling you, Roger, he, he, he was in there Tuesday night. He was real quiet. He was focused, had his helmet down, his visor down. I had to call him out and say, Roger, I know you're in here. He was... He's been racing. He he's been looking at that 38 truck ever ever race. So I'm just gonna have to hope that. I tell you, Roger's a good racer, and he's gonna be tough to beat. And I'm probably gonna have to rely on him having a little, you know, capitalize on him having some misfortune if I'm gonna be able to catch up to him. But we'll see what happens. There's still plenty of races left in that series. That's a great series. You know, John Forjoni and Lee Dog host that deal and it's like i've said last week that's my that's my home on tuesday night over at ect so we'll we'll just keep plugging away and see what we can do that's why i don't race no more because you're the <laughs> i don't blame speaking, you speaking of uh john for zone he's uh he's joined us here uh, is there any way we can get open the door and let him in absolutely yeah absolutely. Gotta ask me if you take a badge first there's uh there's ect diesel mr Forzoni. Welcome like to the didn't. show, John. He must still be out getting the bass boat ready. Yeah, he's that's probably he working. <laughs> he ain't getting no boat ready. The boat's already ready. He's probably fucking petting his dog. He's All out right. there sitting and going. Bub, 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 bub. He is. Bub, 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 bub. All right, looking at Wednesday night, the SS Thunder NXS series. They were at Daytona. I was actually in this race. I made my ECT debut. Uh, luckily, I didn't wreck anybody. I, I know Kyle was over there as well. I, I spent the whole race looking at the 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 women on the back of Fredo's car. Um, ECT Bandit came out of there with the victory. We have the post race oh, interview, so I will <laughs> I'll roll that right now. We'll be right back. Yeah, here we go again. This is. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight at SS Thunder NSX Series at Daytona, it is Rob Nicest. Rob, congratulations on your win tonight. Tell us a little bit about your race. Thanks a lot, Kyle. I'll tell you, it was just a matter of working together. We, uh, myself, Bama, and uh, Bruce, ECTQ, I got to thank them because the last two uh, pit stops, we worked together. And it was kind of whoever came out in first would leave the group. And surprisingly, I actually had the better pit stop on that last one. So when I came out, next thing I know, they're coming right behind me. And uh, like I said, if it wouldn't have been for those guys, I wouldn't have got the win. But it was uh, it was a good final st uh, stint there. And it uh, brought me my first victory of this season. Real good. Now, you admin several of our series here. Why don't you tell the folks what it's like trying to put these races on? It can be quite difficult, to be honest. But to be honest, also to be honest ect and its affiliates bsr people that race with us all the time i should say um everybody kind of knows what everybody's gonna do you know what i mean it, as you've seen everybody was kind of making sure everybody got a lap so there, there wasn't uh, an advantage it was kind of like uh, working together monday is very similar but as you know as an admin uh, obviously you got to pick the schedule you hope you don't have to do any of the bad admin stuff you know which is sit anybody down or, or anything terrible like that luckily haven't had to do that in a long time to be honest and that makes me happy and like tonight i'm actually the uh, i was assisting bruce ectq and so that gave me a little bit of freedom and obviously we had what the one caution so uh a good race like that allows a, uh admin to be just almost like another driver okay now you had thanked some folks earlier on tonight outside the race anybody you'd like to thank well, this is kind of a common theme. I like to thank my ex-wife and my kids because since they can't stand me and pay no attention to me, it gives me plenty of time to race. Understood. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, Wednesday night for the SS Thunder NSX Series at Daytona, it is Rob Nices. Congratulations, Rob. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Why even ask him if you knew well, all that? Well, because already. I'm being friendly to him. I like the guy. I, Why I, are you I, trying to be friendly I'm with just him, man? He don't like you. Uh, nice all right. To the as, guy. Uh, <laughs> as, as, as you guys, 
As you guys know, Bandit uh, never short on words, so that was a good post-race interview there. Um, we never heard it, so what are you talking about? Don't blame Kyle. What? Hey, wait a minute. I see, Mark, you got the pole for that race. Good job, Yeah, buddy. that's what I was going to ask, Mark. Who got the pole for that race? It was. The I, I did take the pole. It's, uh, I, I didn't have the finish. Where, that's what where she did said. You, listen, where did you take the pole? <laughs> to, to Pocket's house. Oh, shit. <laughs> where did the pole go, Mark? Tyler climbed it. Whoa. Uh, I look, what, were you holding on to the other end of it? Were you guys I checked doing like, Tyler's were, sat on it. Were you guys doing like a seesaw effect? Hey, I see uh, John Forgione is back. You look like you changes the subject right away, you mumbling bitch. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Forgione's here. Congratulations. John, how you doing, bud? All right, how you doing? Mark, would you like to interview him, sir? Or say something to him? Uh, Diesel, you, I, I believe you you sponsor the Tuesday and Wednesday night series over at ECT, correct? Yeah, I sponsored the uh, the uh, Smokes uh, Truck Series and the uh, the uh, SS Thunder Series on Wednesday. Yes. So why don't you why don't you go ahead and tell us about uh, your your business that you use? Well, it's not a business. We just uh, you know uh, once in a while we do a few things here and there, but uh, it's really not a business yet. I have my primary business, so that's that's just like a hobby. You know, we do competitions, stuff like that, and. Uh, every now and then and that's it so you know when i finish when i retire from doing what i'm doing right now then we'll see what happens later hey mark. john john is being very modest i'll tell you mark uh, he does yeah. a lot of <laughs> he does a lot of cooking for a lot of Quite charity a causes veterans cancer awareness and stuff like that he gives a lot of time and a lot of effort and providing some great barbecue and food for a lot of good causes so don't it's more than just a hobby it's it's something he does from the heart and uh, i i'm just i'm just proud to even know the guy he's a really good guy not not only that mark the word is on the street that he makes the best barbecue sauce you've ever tasted now i've 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 heard stories about it. I've been told about it. Uh, apparently, Pocket says he puts it on everything: his eggs, his you know anything he eats. And I've been went, waiting, and I'm hoping that one day he gets this thing marketed or something and starts selling it. And I can go to the grocery store and pick it up because I'm dying to try it. What the sauce? Yeah, tastes like shit. KMA. <laughs> 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 I'm going to drop the boat off. You got, you got to, Mark. You got to, you got, to, you got to win a race to get to get the bottle, and then you got to win the championship to for him to ship it to you. Is what I was told. I was going to say, wasn't there a traveling bottle here earlier in the season, something like that? Pockets is the only one I know of that's that's had a taste of it. Well, it's it, it's definitely the best barbecue sauce I have ever had, and I've had a lot of them out there, but John is just. He's a master, I'm telling you. Yeah. You see, not for nothing, Pockets. There was a few things stuck in that sauce. Got him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't affect the taste. It made it a little better, whatever it was. I'll, 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 I'll take another bottle of it right and... now. <laughs> All right, looking at these Wednesday night standings over at ECT. It looks like ECT Timbo, your series leader, four points ahead of Q. Um, it's a really good series over there on Wednesday nights. I, I enjoyed it. I, I was glad that I could get over there and run that race, and, and I definitely look forward to to making some more starts over at ECT. I know Pete's probably going to charge me, but. Yeah, without a doubt, man. We love especially having gonna, you. Especially if you start on the pole. I, 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 I'll tell you one thing, Mark. Timbo, there's a couple drivers that I've been watching. Like tonight, we had a race over at BSR, fun race, Iowa track. We had a driver there, Randy Clayfin, and I hope I'm saying his last name right. But Claflin, Claflin, Clayfin. What I'm the sure hell is the difference? Wait, man, who let Chevy in here? What the hell? But anyway, uh, Chevy came out and he was walking his dog. But Timbo is another one of these guys, man, that that came in and 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 improves every single week. They got the best attitudes and a perfect 
guys to have on your team. And and I'm so happy to see Timbo leading the points right now. That's that's a that's an accomplishment. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I'm it. rooting for the 15. I, I really like Pockets Timbo. has He's robbed him out of so many he, victories. I, I don't <laughs> really. I yeah, he has fan been. Of and the what, what's what, 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 I what, really what's the Wednesday night series. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm coming back to the Wednesday night series. We'll oh, see if Pockets has any problems. It's, it's heating up it's, now. It's, it's, me and you and a dog named Blue, bitch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Speaking of Wednesday nights, moving over to Wednesdays at uh, Bomb Squad Racing, it looks like ECT TJ came out of came out of Wednesday night with the last victory. Uh, he is not here. Pockets, what can you tell us about your last truck race? I, I believe that was Iowa, right? Yep, that was the Hello Sunshine Hello dot com Wednesday night truck series. Is that a game Along division? with our sponsor, Drunken Cow Jerky. Visit DrunkenCowJerky.com for the finest craft-made whiskey and beer soaked beef jerky on the planet. The winner was ECT TJ, top five, Texan, Gary Scott, Axel Foley. Rounding out the top five was Brain Fade. It was a really good race. We had about 19, 20 people in there at the Cornhole in Iowa. And uh, it was a great race. We and. Uh, Everything went well. Congratulations to DJ, TJ. He led 63 laps. He was the class of the field Wednesday night. Looks like Texan still leads your Wednesday night series by 25 on Chevy Chase. Moving to Thursday, the first uh, BSR road course broadcast, HB Hardy was just drove a, a flawless race. Uh, Kyle, why don't you go ahead and if if you don't mind, interview H.B. Hardy on his Infineon victory. Sure thing. Uh, Hardy, you uh, had the earlier win in the uh, week. You were talking about being excited to go race Infineon over BSR. Tell us, how was that race for you? Uh, it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of uh, good racing. It took a lot of patience and a lot of, uh, a lot of focus, but... Uh, in the end, I was glad I pulled it out. I had a lot of help from a, a past teammate from way back in the day. His name is Julian. He's a road ringer. We spent a couple hours together. He hooked me up with a good setup, and he helped me uh, in the places I was weak, and the, all the hard work paid off. Who else uh, out there in the field was uh, definitely giving you a challenge there to Infineon? on? Uh, Texan, I'd probably say, was uh, the closest. There was a couple here and there. I battled with Rick Craddock and uh, Aussie Bill here and there, but Texan was – really the only one that could could uh somewhat stay with me uh i was looking forward to a fight at the end i decided to stay out instead of pitting uh, i knew my tires in the position they were were exactly where i wanted them um and even if i uh, decided to put the pedal to the metal which i hadn't really done all night because there wasn't really needed to i was pretty confident that the setup and the way i had everything set up it would it would be fine well uh, we had a late race caution and Texan gave me a run for my money going down into turn 11, coming to the caution, but uh, I was able to jump back into it and cross the line first. So it was a lot of fun. Okay, I guess the one question that a lot of guys in both groups are having is, is when are you going to start your road course racing clinic? Uh, whenever somebody asks, uh, I, Chevy PM me and asked if there was uh, any tips I could give them, and I told him sure I'd be happy to sit down and I uh, – hooked him up with a set that hooked everybody else with and I showed him the, the P's and Q's of the little tips and tricks that I had learned over the years of road racing so if anybody is questioning or wants to know or needs some help just feel free to PM me and I'll do what I can real good Hardy congratulations on your second road course win this week one at ECT and one at BSR now, okay, now, I, I, I want to ask I want to ask Hardy a question you know you pointed out that he won the road course race at ECT and he run the, won the road course race at e BSR, Marty, do you wear one of those big Boris said wigs whenever you're <laughs> racing at the road course, or what? What is your secret to the road course? I know that these guys worked. I, I watched them for two or three days. They were in there. They were working. They were practicing. They were tweaking on those sets and everything. And I'll tell you this: that was a broadcast on Pony Express Broadcast Network. That was a road course with full course cautions. We were one of the only people that I know of that were brave enough to put 20 people on a road course, turn the cautions on, and let it go live on a broadcast. And I'm telling you right now, I could not be more proud of that group. That was a hell of a race and a great win by you, Hardy. Class of the field, good job. Led, I don't know how many laps, 34 laps. 
34 of the 45 laps. Great race by all, and congratulations to you, Hardy. Thank you, sir. Funny enough, I uh, I actually have hair that is exactly like Boris said. It's really cur curly and really puffy, funny enough. But, uh, hey, bro. Well, wow, there's the secret. Favor. Hardy, don't tell him nothing like that. Uh, don't tell him nothing <laughs> There's like the secret right there. It's all in the hair. You, you know it's what I'm saying? No, nah, Hardy. <laughs> you, you know, you got to think of the stupid things that he does. You know, he... he you tell him that you're wearing things and you cut things on your head and this and that and the other thing. He goes a little bit beyond that, that he don't tell nobody. Yeah, it's so, so, so be easy with yourself, bro. Yeah. You know, the guys over at ECT, we don't play that game. You know, that's why we try to stay away from him a little bit. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. But right, really, the, the biggest thing is just practice. It's a culmination of years and years of practice. And even then, dating back to next Tuesday, when I saw that the two road courses were on the schedule, I probably put a good 150 laps ended in Finion offline and that's just offline it's it's just you know people talk about I mean, practice 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 for short tracks and and speedways but when road courses the biggest thing is just to sit down and practice take take and learn one turn to the next and just make sure you hit your marks that's the biggest thing don't worry about other people race the track don't race them and you'll come out as good as you can Moving on to Friday night, Xfinity Series action at Iowa. Pockets, who won your race tonight? The winner tonight was, no surprise, Texan. BSR Texan. Killer. He, uh, what, him, what and TJ had, him and TJ had a really good battle. It's a caution field race, but we had 21 people, and it was just, uh, it's, I tell you what, we had several cautions. There were a lot of laughs tonight. There was a lot of good time being had tonight, and that was the important takeaway from from that race. That's the Friday night race. That is the also the uh, going to be the upcoming segment two of the WLS graphics. Our friend Tim Scarborough going to sponsor, uh, jump on board and sponsor that series again with some great prizes from Drunken Cow Jerky, and just another great race on Friday night in the NXS. 15 CTS mod and we roll on next week to that back to Florida to Daytona Mark, I don't I don't want uh, you to get make Kyle give me an interview, but I got fifth in that race <laughs> I'm still waiting on my provisional win from pockets. He said in front of the entire group I can get a provisional win he did I, it's on record. in the sponsorship showcase series Yes, I did say that he could get a provisional win. He missed a race he told that more shit than did a donkey not exist in the first comment. <laughs> I let me jump in here real quick and welcome no, a special ain't guest. Ain't that a goddamn surprise? Let me Ed, jump in here. Eddie Lee from Insomniac's Racing Club is here. Mark, we need to get him an interview because he's fixing to have to hop out of here and go get his race started here. It's going to start in about thirty minutes over there at Insomniac's. Go ahead and interview him so we can cut him loose and he can go to work. Absolutely. We, uh, I have his graphic up on the screen. Eddie Lee, uh, you, you guys have your Super Speedway Series on, on Saturday or Friday night. You have your, your Mutts on Saturday night, your Monster Energy on, on Tuesday nights. I see your last three winners were BSR Pockets, Matt Watkins, uh, David Shieldhouse. What, uh, Eddie, what do you want to tell us about Insomniacs and, and your, your last three races that you guys have run? Well, not much. I just want to say that uh, Friday nights we seem to have knockout queue almost every week. I think we sent like nine home last week. Pockets joined us. Uh, if everybody, ha if anybody hasn't uh, really heard lately, the rumor in the community is the Insomniacs. Our vision has always been to, um, because of our time slot, we don't compete with anybody. So we want to be open to the entire community. We don't like this SMS, RLM, all this bullshit, the size of the community. And so we started a sim racing association. Basically, we have found out in order for us to fulfill our mission and be open to everybody inside the entire community, we cannot align ourselves with anybody because then influences start trying to affect our mission. That's about really all I have to say at this time. Other than watch the Facebook post soon, our dirt series will be starting back up on Sunday evenings. Well, that was sort of some negative shit. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, uh, Pockets, you, you want to say anything about your, your Friday night victory at Insomniac? Well, I, I can tell you this. I, I go way back with the Insomniacs, back to the back to many years ago when when the Insomniacs very first got its start and everything like that. I made a return about a month ago. Been going on Fridays, run a couple of races on Tuesdays. 
do some racing in the Mutt Series. The Mutt Series is really where it all it all began back many years ago. I'm glad to return back over there and run with Eddie Lee and Groove and all the guys over at Insomniac's Racing Club. I've had been very fortunate. Had some really good finishes, a lot of luck involved, but you, as well as, you know, everybody knows that that's part of racing, you know, that you, that you have to have a little bit of luck. And I've actually pulled, I pulled off a win last Friday night, which was, was, uh, I'm very proud of because that's not an easy series to get a win in as it, as a lot of people can contest to. Like I said, I got real lucky and uh, there's several of us in here fixing to head back over there here in about 30 minutes and kick the tires and light the fires over at Insomniacs tonight for the Super Speedway Series over there with Eddie Lee and Groove and everybody at the Insomniacs Racing Club. Hey, uh, Mark, I don't want you to uh, ask Kyle to give me an interview, but I finished eighth in that race. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to thank Eddie for coming by and let Eddie know the come by the come by the program here and give us an update on things that are going and stuff like that. We welcome him over here anytime. We're uh, we're proud to go over and help him. You know he's gone out into the he's gone out and they they've went independent. They're trying to they're trying to do a good thing. I tell you I'll tell you this. I've known Eddie for a long time, and Eddie is trying to make this stem what it used to be. It, it, there's there's a lot of things going on right now, but Eddie is working very hard to make it to make it great, just the way it used to be. And he's 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 doing the legwork, and we I've had many talks with him, and we support him. We're for him, and we'll help him any way we can. Thank you, gentlemen, and uh, thank you for having me. And I'll see you another time. At this time, I need to get out of here and get to work. All right, good luck, Eddie. We'll see you, buddy. All right, like we like we saw on the screen there, Matt Watkins won that last mutts race. Uh, at Michigan, and David Shieldhouse won the the Monster Cup race at Infineon. Now we're going to move over to the the new kid on the block, I guess you would call him, uh, American Patriot Racing. Uh, Joe Simpson not here tonight. Chris Hart busy getting people ready for the Insomniacs race. Last night we we opened up the server for the first time, allowed people to to come over there, and and we were very I'll say that I'm very glad and uh, appreciative that uh, to the BSR and ECT guys who came over there, as, as well as uh, Rick Johnson. Um, first race we ran last night, we were at Nashville, and as as I said before we even started that race, BSR Texan, I, I called it. I thought he was going to win the first race ever, and, and he did, but uh, it was very close. Well, you went out on a limb there, Mark. E e C e e ECT <laughs> Pockets, if you remember, uh, Juggalo dominated that race. Yes, he was 10 car lengths ahead of, of, of the field, and Texan somehow caught up to him, and that was an absolute fantastic finish because, I mean, they were, what was it? It was like 300 of a second. Yeah, yeah it was it, it was something to see. I, unfortunately, I had to see it from about 20 car lengths back, but I could still see that it was a good race. And then the second race we ran last night, we were at Texas World in ECT Bama. Uh, he, he shared half of his setup with us, and, and then he dominated us, and then shared the other half after the race. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I was unfortunate enough to fall out before that race, so I didn't get to make that one. But I'll tell you this, those two races, uh, you know, like you said, uh, the philosophy over at APR is, is that's the beer drinking league. That's the, you come in, you have a good time, you have a few drinks. We race for fun and laughs and just have a good time. And it was definitely a good time. And we look forward to many more n nights on Wednesdays and Thursdays over with you and Joe Simpson and American Patriot Racing. It's, uh, I see some good things fixing to happen there. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to say, well, first of all, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I missed those races there, I, my new work schedule. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, hopefully, I'm not uh, stepping over bounds here, Mark. But I wanted to say that, uh, you know, your your new league and, and Joe's uh, league there, that, that uh, ECT and BSR are proud to to support your you guys and promote with you guys and and uh, and, and and have you as uh, 
as a partner with us as far as cooperation is concerned and everything, and we're, we're hoping you have great success. Did he pay us any money? Yeah, we, we definitely appreciate it, and, and we're looking forward to, uh, to some great things. I, I just pulled Juggalo down here. Juggalo, I, I know you were listening to the show. I, I wanted to get uh, – what was your perspective on, on that win that, that Texan stole from you last night? It was a great race. I mean, it was – that was one of the best races I've raced in a long time. I mean, you can run the high line, you can run the low line. I mean, it was just a great track to run on, and, and he – I just kept looking at my rearview mirror, and like, he's going to catch me, he's going to catch me, and I kept slipping up, like, getting out of – not hitting my marks, and next thing I know, he's on my – my bumper were two to go and he went on the high side and I was like, ah, I'm going to try to push him up, but it didn't work. And he just got me by, it was three thousandths of a second. I mean, it was just like a bumper that he got me. It was a great, great race. All right. So that, that, uh, that concludes all of the, the winners from the past week. Kyle, you want to, uh, interview spoiler now? Uh, sure. Greg, um, what do you know about Pete? What do I know about Pete? Sure. <laughs> hey, now Pete said some. Pete just asked something about if Mark paid the money. Pete, I gave Greg the money, and if he didn't give you your cut, John Forjoni's here. John, you got your baseball bat with you? Uh oh. Yeah, it's all waxed up. That, that's all right. You don't may, worry. You ain't got to worry Greg's, about John's Greg's baseball hiding bat. under the blanket. Let's be you honest. You may need to go. You may need to make sure that Greg gives Pete his part of the money. Hey, John. Unhook the tr unhook the boat, John. Come and pick me up. We're going. To <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, what do I know about Pete? Is is that the question? That's what I asked. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, when when I uh, when when I first came to ECT, I kind of went over this last uh, TV race. I mean, a uh, TV uh, show here, a radio show. Um, he, he, he was probably one of the. Well, I started off in another league, but that league folded i came and i found ect pete at that time was probably the biggest name in, in the sim racing industry that i that i heard of i you know i floated around a little bit went to this place that place and and i went out when i found ect it was the the biggest league at that time that i that i knew of and and pete was the biggest name out there and you know of course when you first meet Pete or whatever, you know, he, some people take him in, yeah, he's a little, he's a little hard, you know, he's a little rough, he's a little this, he's a little, but I've always found out that Pete is, I call him my teddy bear, he's a, he's a great, he's got a big heart, he's a, he's a great guy, he's a, he, he can see things sometimes that, that normal, you know, people in this, in this sim don't see, and, and what I mean by that is, is that, he had he he had people in certain spots that he saw. Well, hey man, if I do this, if I do that, our league is going to grow, our sim's going to get better. And he made those moves, and he got the right people in the right places. And 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 at one time, ECT was probably the the biggest out there. And and we're and we're uh, achieving to to get that way again. But I I I look at Pete as a mentor. Um, I I. I I wouldn't dare do anything without making sure it's okay with him because of the fact that I respect him so much and I respect his, his, his uh, way of doing things. Like I told him a million times, he says, well, Greg, man, you don't, you do what you got to do. You don't worry about it. Blah, blah, blah. I said, no, nah, man, because I could leave tomorrow and ECT is still going to be here because of Pete Sendone. J Joe Blow can leave. Pete Sendone has, is, if there was a Mount Rushmore of sim racing, Pete Sendone's head would be one of the heads on that on that on that Mount Rushmore, and that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I feel. I'm not trying to kiss up or anything. He knows that's the way I feel about him, and I and I love the man. I, I really do. He's come to Richmond, and we've met. I met his wife. We had a great you know time together, and, and uh, I, 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 my heart's always and, and loyalty is always with him and ECT. I, I would like to say though, if he if his head was on a Mount Rushmore style, <laughs> it would be the only head that would be able to be up there because it's so big. I mean, his you head wouldn't fit in a five-gallon bucket. You want to talk? <laughs> well, you I, would, I, would, to you. I would be the first one to second that. Yes, the 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 Mount Rushmore of sim racing should have Pete Sendone's head on it. Absolutely. Yeah, or what, on the platter? 
<laughs> While I have all three of you here behind the microphone, it's it's a lot of hard work to uh, to get these groups together uh, to align groups like ECT and BSR. It's difficult to put these races on. What do the three of you think the the biggest challenge that you faced in in making these things happen? Working with fucking pockets. Exactly. I and and Pete's right. It is very very complicated and very hard to work with me. So I, I want to. I want to give them a, a shout out for putting up with all the, you know, I told Greg today earlier, I said, you know, my new motto is there's not going to be any drama unless I start it. <laughs> oh, without a job. He's the biggest <laughs> drama queen you ever wanted to meet. So from I'm now on, you. what we should do is, is just run around and say, what would Pete Sendone do? That'll yes. Be- and, and, and let's not forget that I'm also the puppet master. I'm the, you know, I'm the drama guy. I'm the, I'm the one that everybody has trouble working with so it's it's really hard for pete and greg to to be a part of this cooperation but they they struggle with it every day and they make it happen in spite of having to work with me and we and, just uh, feel sorry you know, for the handicap bro that's you know see that you know pete is pete he's got this rough exterior but he's got a heart as big as all outdoors don't let mark, it fool mark you. you're gonna find out you're gonna find out about pockets here soon you are oh, <laughs> by the time yeah. you're done by the oh. time you're done, Mark, you're going to close up American Patriot Racing. You're going to come over by us. You're going to be patting uh, your Greg on his tush to wind up joining <laughs> with us because, you know, not for nothing. I love Pockets like he's my own brother, but he could aggravate the shit out of a dead person. Oh, oh Pockets, <laughs> me and Without me, a doubt. Me and Pockets have uh, butted heads. He's, uh, he's definitely, I, I think me and Pockets have too much in common in that Gets hey, us, gets us to to button heads. Mark, Mark, hey, if I could, I, I don't, yeah, and and I know I just got done with Pete, but let me tell you something about pockets. No, oh, this, this is gonna I, be real I, fast. I, 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 this is gonna be real fast, and I told him this today. That when that man wakes up to the time he goes to bed, it's sim racing. What he well, can do know. to make sim racing better. They're in to qualify make, over there, guys. To make our league better, to make his league better. Who gives a shit? Uh, uh, and 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 you got to give him credit for his passion. A lot of us, we we you know, we, of course we we we're into it. We want to do stuff and all that. But uh, that that man is is a is a is a passionate, and and I love his drive, and and he keeps me focused, and and keeps Pete and us with our desire to want to keep because we he's like I said about that peg guy. P- P- pockets can see the forest through the trees he's one of those kind of guys that can see 100 yards down the road before we even get there and and that's that's a, a good yourself. attribute for him to have <laughs> <laughs> no no all, all kidding aside bro i look forward to the days that you come up with some wild ass shit and 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 want to do something because i think it's very interesting I always sit down and start my day off and say, what is Pockets going to call me up or, or, or text me today and tell me what's going on? What has he found in the sim world that he dislikes or he likes? And he's going to show us what it's all about, how to do it, what we did, or what we did wrong. But we butted heads for quite a numerous numerous times. We, you know, all bullshitting. And... and uh, we had a lot of fun, but the times that he wasn't around, that we butted heads and our leagues didn't get along and, and this and that, you know, I, I, I sort of sat back and, and I knew Greg and him were friends and I knew they were talking and I knew they were doing things. And I said to myself, you know what? I missed that mumbling bitch. Without listening and hearing him and just reading some of the stupid shit that he, t- he sends me sometimes. But I love him. I, it's like I have to have that in, in my world. I have to have Pocket sending me something, telling me something good, bad, or indifferent. And and I'm just wondering, where does he come up with half this shit sometimes? I don't know. But but BSR and ECT are putting together, have put together, I feel, one of the strongest bonds of, of two different leagues. And that's because of the hard work. And I'm going to move myself out of that picture. The hard work between Greg and, and, and Pockets, the two of them together have done everything. And like Greg says, you know, I try my best to do what I got to do. And when Greg calls me up, I do tell him that. I do say, Greg, you know, stop the bullshit, bro. Do what you got to do. I, you don't need to ask me. 
you know, you're my partner, you're my buddy, you're my brother, I love you. Do what you got to do. But he has always got to call me and ask me things. And Pockets does the same thing. And, and I don't know why they do it. We all have the same motivation and drive. And I think it's just great. You know, and it, it's our teams, our guys, they get along, they have a great time. You know, and, and uh, it's, I just hope it doesn't end. Not for a long time. A real long time. I just hope we all just continue to do what we're doing. You know, it's it's this is a this is a bond that I don't think anybody could break at this point in time. Well, to be honest with you, Pete, it's all up to Juggalo. I mean, if he don't screw up and <laughs> screw up, yeah, <laughs> got to keep Juggalo. Wow. Well, you know, hey. see, we got to keep hey. Juggalo in line on our side and make sure everything's okay with him. And it's the same thing we got to do over with BSR. You know, we got to keep Chevy Chase in line, Larry. You know. Those guys, we got to make sure they're good, you know, Killer. You know, I get scared of those guys, you know, especially Killer. Oh, my God, that name scares me. John, you know, what are we going to do about him, you know, a guy named Killer? Hey, Greg. Yes, sir. It's J-Lo to you. Oh, J-Lo. J-Lo. Yeah, that's Pockets, dude, <laughs> dick name <laughs> for him. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him hey, J-Lo. Hey, I know that, uh, I know we're running out of time, but Kyle, to answer your question about what makes Sim kind of hard or whatever and stuff like that, in my opinion, is is there's a few things one is you got a lot of guys that think and i don't mean to get negative nancy here but you got a lot of guys in here that think that nascar is going to call them next week and and ask them to fill in for a driver and a big race and all that kind of stuff so they got this attitude when they get in a race that anything that happens it's always somebody else's fault it's 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 they're so good they've never they've never caused a wreck they're never going to cause a wreck, and and uh, they're so good that it's always somebody else's fault. When we when when my my goal, and I've talked to Pete and Pockets, they both know this, is that we build a friend based sim leagues where we're the first thing that matters is is our friendship with each other, and and coming in and having a laugh. Like Pocket said tonight, we we laughed so much that. We could have had a hundred cautions in that race, and I don't think it would have mattered too much. But you know, you got a lot of guys with these attitudes and stuff like that, and bringing them together and having everybody a guy that's an A list driver racing with a D list driver, so to speak, and having them come in there and, and race together and everybody have a good time and build a bond is the hardest part, in my opinion, of, of, of the sim racing. And once you accomplish that, which I feel like BSR and ECT working together, that and especially with that Saturday series, that is the best series to, to get that accomplished. Is is getting uh, that accomplished is the biggest thing and the hardest battle I feel like uh, that, because everybody shows loyalty to what they want to do and 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 it, it, when ECT goes over to BSR, BSR comes over. The first thing, well, it's an ECT guy's fault or it's a BSR guy's fault or whatever. And just breaking that wall down and saying, listen, we're all friends. There's going to be a race tomorrow. There's going to be a race next week. This ain't the end of the world for you. NASCAR is not going to call. They're not going to call you. Let's just have a good time. Get over yourself. Get you know, it, 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 Somebody's not going to come in here tonight and say, you know what? I'm going to take Diesel out. I, I just I just, I just, just want to. That's not, that's not the way we operate, man. We're, and, and with us being a leagues that work together and stuff, that's what people got to put in their head is, is that's not the way we operate. You know, so in my opinion, that's the hardest part is is just getting the the attitudes right of everybody and and making people realize that we're all friends here and having a good time, and, and we go from there. Greg, that 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 was perfect, bro. That's exactly right. And the reason why I think a lot of leagues out there are having problems, and, and you're always hearing you know all the drama and this and that and the other thing, is because my opinion is there's too many rules, too many regulations. You know, between BSR and ECT, they really, that wall, like Greg says, was knocked down, okay? And, you know, no one gets pissed off at anybody, really, all right? Somebody may get a little snippy, you know, whatever, whatever. It happens, okay? I do it. I've had it done to me. It's fine. But I think if, if everybody worked together a lot more out in the sim world, this here would be a whole lot stronger and you'd see a lot of leagues working together. 
unfortunately, it's not going to be that way because who wants to start some nation and who wants to be the king of the hill and who wants to have the best car counts one night or two nights because the only way they're getting those car counts is going over the 75 different leagues that they may find and, you know, asking one or two guys to come over. That, to me, is not, you know, that's not showing your power. You know, or, or showing your your strength in league. Your strength in league is, is is having your members there, having your friends backing you up all the time, no matter what. And and uh, I think we've done that. I I I truly believe we've done that. And if we haven't, I throw all the fucking BSR members right out on their ass. <laughs> Not a problem, no. But you know, in all seriousness, that that's that that's what I feel. We broke the barrier to rules, regulations, and bullshit. You come in, you'll hear you'll hear some stuff you never hear in nobody else's sim, and I don't mean good, bad, or indifferent. You know, we just talk. We're, we're, we're men. We're having fun. It's a game. And I'd rather sit here and talk with all my friends and have a good time, laugh and joke, and, and pick on them and then pick on us and, and just have a great freaking time. I don't give a shit. I met more friends in this in, in, in this you know this sim over the years that, that I've been racing uh, you know to last a lifetime and, and I want who I know and, and who I race with at this point to last that the rest of my lifetime and and, and I hope it, I hope it works out that way I hope it gets bigger and better for the both leagues and uh, you know we just move on from here man it's uh, it, it's great you know Mark starting his own league and and you know, we'll see where that goes. But, uh, you know, the work that we've all put together, you know, that we've all done so far, not only just the, the owners, but I mean the admins, the, the the members themselves. It's everybody has really worked hard at, at keeping this thing together and, and doing what we got to do. Uh, I'm just, I'm proud of everybody. I really am. And it's, it shows. It really does. All right, guys. All right, guys. We've front, got, yeah, we've got we qualified in here. three minutes. It's been 14 years. Hopefully hey, who 14 gives you shit about your goddamn yeah. qualifying, you fucking jerk? <laughs> thank, thank you to all the, the leagues for joining thanks, us thanks, and, and all the winners. This is NR2003 Victory Lane. We'll see you again next Friday Thanks, night. Mark. All right, guys.